before attempted, or at least on this channel, because what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to be trying to do a Quaker-friendly guided meditation. I'm, I'm curious to see how it goes. We'll see how, uh, but what I'll do before we get going is I'll just give a bit of background, maybe talk about what I'm thinking about this and how it's going to look before we just dive in. So I think last year, I, I think it was last year, I did a video where I um, reviewed the Hallow app, which is a Catholic prayer app. And I kind of got to thinking, well, what would a Quaker worship app look like? What would be the kind of things that would be um, in there or useful or helpful? And it's that sort of question has kind of stayed with me an awful lot. And as I mentioned in the episode where I compared Quaker worship and meditation, I've been doing some guided meditation. I've been thinking a bit more as to how can these fit together now? I want to make things very, very clear here. What we're attempting to do here is not meeting for worship. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, these are two very different things. I'm not trying to replace one with the other. And I'm not saying that this is better. I'm, what I, but what I'm trying to do in this is maybe give a um, maybe guided contemplation, I suppose, in g getting you sort of getting your Quaker muscles flexing in a way outside of um, meeting for worship um, in maybe a helpful and more Quakerly way than anything else. So what's going to happen is um, I am going to be giving prompts, but I'm not going to be like overly, you know, guided meditation on it. I'll let you do whatever you want with your eyes um, and your breathing, you do you. I'm not. I, I'm. I'm not going to go and do the whole breathe in, breathe out. You do what you want to do with that. If that helps you, great. If you like having your eyes closed, do it. If not, I'm going to have lovely. I've got a lovely little like river scene that I'm going to put on, and there's going to be some. There's going to be some like mellow music going on as well. So we've got that going on, and then I'm going to be giving prompts, um, Quaker prompts. And uh, we're going to be looking at um, the testimonies. We're going to be looking at some readings. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, the advices and queries. There's going to be a time for silence where I'll turn that music down and get you just to um, listen to what's around you. And obviously, if you want to like pause it at any point to really emphasize on a on, on or really think deeply about something that I've mentioned, then. <laughs> You do you, as I said. And so I just kind of thought it might be something that could be helpful for people to do outside of meeting for worship by yourself. That's maybe getting you to feel a bit more quakerly outside. And also maybe to give you give people who maybe haven't gone to a meeting for worship are not sure what to do with themselves in a meeting for worship, maybe some of the things that they could be thinking about and um holding in the light whilst they're in for meeting for worship. But as I said, this is not a meeting for worship. This is just some things to consider in a Quakerly fashion. If people like it, I can do more. If people don't like it, I don't ever have to do it again. But it'll be out there for people to to access should they want. So it's up to you if you want if you you know if you want to find a really hard, uncomfortable bench to sit on to do it. And that's absolutely fine. If you want to lie down to do this, that's absolutely fine. Do whatever you want in this, but as I said, I'm going to be only prompting you in quakerly fashion, not in like your breathing, your eyes, and whether you should be squeezing your muscles or relaxing your muscles, any of that. This is just going to be purely contemplative guided meditation with a Quaker tint. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this thing. Chew the river.
Advices and queries number three. Do you try to set times of quiet for openness to the Holy Spirit? All of us need to find a way into silence, which allows us to deepen our awareness of the divine and to find the inward source of our strength. Seek to know an inward stillness, even amid the activities of daily life. Do you encourage in yourself and in others a habit of dependence on God's guidance for each day? Hold yourself and others in the light, knowing that all are cherished by God. I'd like you now to think about anyone at this moment that you would like to hold especially in the light. That might be a family member or friend, maybe groups of people, maybe something that you've heard on the news, maybe someone that you know personally. I want you now to take into consideration the Quaker testimonies. I'm going to read each one of them out. And I would like you to think about how these words and how these testimonies affect you. And to think about what the inward light might be asking of you to do in light of these testimonies. Simplicity. truth. quality.
going to read a couple of extracts from different sources. Some of them are religious, some of them are not. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness, and streams in the wasteland. The things you really need are few and easy to come by, but the things you can imagine you need are infinite and you will never be satisfied. Thousands of candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. will slowly dim. I'd like you to listen to the silence, which is never truly silent, and bring what you hear into your discussion with the inner light.
Advices and Queries number 42. We do not own the world, and its riches are not ours to dispose of at will. Show a loving consideration for all creatures, and seek to maintain the beauty and variety of the world. Work to ensure that our increasing power over nature is used responsibly, with reverence for life. Rejoice in the splendour of God's continuing creation. We're going to be ending this Quaker-friendly guided meditation in a moment, so if you want to take time, please do pause, or otherwise please start to re-emerge and we'll get back to the video. So there we go, a Quaker-friendly guided meditation as best understood by me. Um, as I said, happy to hear any criticisms or if you liked it, obviously let me know that as well. Um, and reminder that this is not, that was not meant to be a meeting for worship, though ideas and things from that obviously you can take into your meeting for worship, but um, this was an experiment and so therefore very happy to hear what you think. So thank you very much for taking part. Hope it was intriguing and novel and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please do click on the thumbs up and the subscribe button to get more videos about Quakerism in the UK today. It really does help and thanks once again.